today we're running a recently brought back to life engine on uh, Percy Priest Lake, Nashville, Tennessee, September 2020. This is a uh, Wizard Super 10. I believe it's rated for uh, 10 horsepower, 1957. Uh, Wizards were sold by uh, Western Auto Supply Company, so, so right here. Um, and over the years, uh, Wizards started selling Mercury's at their stores in the early 40s. Uh, and over the years, Wizard would change the appearance, but still the power head and the lower units we're still Mercury. Again, this is a 1957. This has a power head from the 1954-1955 uh, Mark 25s, Mercury Mark 25s, and the lower uh, lower unit, including the um, gear case and the uh, exhaust tower, are actually from a 1949-ish um, KG7. So again, and uh, what Mercury would do is detune their engines before selling them to uh, Western Auto. By doing that, uh, by installing a smaller carburetor and smaller reed valves, because Carl Kirkhiver uh, was not about to sell the competition something that could keep up with his own motors. So almost, I guess, leftover parts. But anyways, I picked this motor up off Craigslist, I think 40 $60, not even too sure. Um, showed up and it was been in the guy's garage forever and ever. Um, hazy story behind it. Nonetheless, I uh, went to pull it over and it was uh, stuck. Um, well, he said it wasn't. So I pulled off the cowl and pulled the spark plugs and squirted in some WD-40 and, um, and worked the flywheel back and forth and broke it loose. And the flywheel felt, felt good. Um, and solid. So anyways, took it home. Um, it uh, has a fail on ignition and I bought OMC coils and converted them to fit. Um, so I needed coils, needed condensers, I cleaned up the points real well, new spark plug wires, new spark plugs. Went through the carburetor, had the original cork uh, float. So I put in a new modern float. Um, yeah. And maybe that was about it. I never broke in the lower unit. Um, I put it in the barrel, started up, and it was pushing water, which surprised me. Um, I figured I'd have to put in an impeller, but learned that the impellers back in the KG7 days actually held up really, really well. And yeah, it pumps water great. So then I have to change that out. And when I check the lower unit after running it in the barrel, um, no water in the lower unit. So I don't even have to pull that apart. So actually uh, a fairly easy motor to bring back to life. So uh, no gears, uh, just forward, no neutral. So you start it up and you're moving. So this is my first lake run of the motor. And uh, let's give her a shot.
definitely not as fast as Mark 25. But, um, yeah, seems to be a good runner. Excuse me, Ryan, go run some gas on him. 